Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the perfect camper for full timing and that's a travel trailer. It has a huge interior, an exterior kitchen, and the quality is built like a fifth wheel. This is the 2023 Coachman Freedom Express model 324 RLDSLE. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you this awesome quality travel trailer, the RLD SLE, you know me, you know what I'm saying? I Before you. I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! Keep your hood on. If you're <laughs> put your hood back on. No, no, no I'm if, good. I mean if you're gonna do it behind camera, you gotta do it in front of camera. <laughs> it's a little cold here in Virginia, guys, but I wanna give a huge congratulations to the winner of yesterday's prime pooping position bobblehead. Make sure to check the description down below. We put the winner, not just of yesterday, but of all the past winners so you can double check yes um so congratulations and if your name is not on the list hang tight because we will be giving away another one today but you have to watch the video in the entirety uh because we don't know i i don't know at least matt likes to hide it from me nope no you don't know either nope okay we don't even know where in this video it's gonna be but we will be giving another one away today sporadically will it might be right now All right model and it's not i guess not model <laughs> is 324 RLD SLE. The actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 37 feet 1 inch. The dry weight is 8,570 pounds and the hitch weight is 1,112 pounds. Well, yeah. This is heavy. It is. You know, you guys got to be careful with these units, especially with half ton towable trucks. I'm not saying you can't tow it, but I highly recommend three-quarter ton. Yeah, like for this. sure. Power tongue jack up here, propane tanks, and your batteries. Cool. Right here, we do have a very nice, beautiful painted fiberglass front cap, nice front windshield, wraparound front cap. Well, and okay. what I mean when I say fiberglass front cap, it actually caps over here. So here's the side fiberglass. Yep. It caps over, and here's a piece of trim. So it's really, really nice. Helps prevent like water intrusion and stuff. Exactly. Right over here, we do have a little bit of storage underneath. Okay. You can see that the cooktop is right there and it does cook up to that outside kitchen. Nice. With a very nice slam latch door. Underneath there, well, we do have electric stabilizing jacks. All okay. you do is push the buttons and there was a propane quick connect right there for that grill on the outside. Very nice. Very nice power awning with LED lights, speakers on the outside, another power awning with LED lights, and then look at these awesome windows. Right. This is gonna look fantastic from the inside. The more windows, the merrier. Oh yeah. Right here, Will, we do have a very nice um, solid steps right here. It okay. goes in and out. And then look at this, the Coachman leash holder and bottle opener. Psh, America, America, John Cena. And right now, Will, hashtag bobblehead, tell us about your favorite dog. If you've ever had a dog, drop a comment down below on what your favorite dog was and if you love to go camping with your dog. Okay. And if you never had a dog, drop, say your favorite pet, cat, squirrel, whatever. And if you never had a pet at all, comment that you never had a pet at all. Okay. That's going to be the hashtag it with bobblehead. And we're going to select one of those comments today to win the bobblehead. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to the motorhome video to see who the winner is. And we are only taking entries from 7 p.m. right now until 6.45 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. And then we're gonna read all the comments and select the winner. Thank you to everybody who's been participating. Okay. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Castle Rocks. I love those. They are ST225-75 R15. And look at those wide spread out right. axles. Yep. Right over here, well, you can see that they use aluminum cage construction, but Asdell. Asdell is the composite behind the fiberglass, and it will never delaminate on you, and it has the heated and enclosed underbelly. Very nice. Power and coax for the TV on the outside. Okay. And then here, look at this awesome kitchen. 
Nice little attitude refrigerator. Very nice. Little countertop space, no sink. All right. And then nice storage right up there. Very cool kitchen on the outside. It is. And coming on down. Okay. All right. Coming around the back, Will. We do have a nice pumper for the stinky slinky. Ladder to get up on the roof. Prep for the Voyager backup camera. And, and then this unit prepped. is prepped for a two inch receiver hitch. I haven't seen that one. I haven't either. If you do decide to get the two inch receiver hitch, it's for 300 pounds of vertical weight. You cannot tell right. behind this RV. Finishing up, Sir William. All right, this is gonna be a refrigerator access point. I like nice. this. Yeah, that is nice. Yep, that's gonna be most of the issues with things that go wrong. All right, here's your water heater. All your hookups. Here's where you dump your tanks. Okay. Over here's your outdoor shower, city water connection, and your black tank flush. And then wrapping it all up, Will. Look at that storage. Wow, really good. That is That good. connects to the bed from the outside. Right. And then right here's your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then here's just a little bit more storage. Well, Will, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. After you, sir. All right. Starting up front, you have a nice big bedroom here. Next to the bedroom is the bathroom. Right there. Then you have a middle kitchen and dining area with your living space in the rear. Well, we are starting back here, but first, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. One, two, are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RVing. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lipper customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips, don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, back here, Well, we are starting. Check out this awesome cabinetry above. Very, very nice. Look at this, we got some pillows up here. Look at that, now we're stylish. And then nice storage above there. Really good looking balances all the way around slow rise privacy blinds and we do have pretty tall ceilings am i yeah. right yeah it's not doesn't have that curvature but it's boxed off but right it's it feels pretty good and then over here sir william we have a very nice oh man ice cold sofa All right, i bet the you know how heat transfers i guess cold transfers as it well sure does because this sofa is awfully cold does this come out looks like it but no also it doesn't, doesn't. Cup holder right here, very nice. Will, this actually comes out to make a bed, so uh, it's a really nice sleeper area for that non-paying customer. And well, normally, oh yeah, show that. Okay. Normally, I, I go straight to the theater seats afterwards. Right. How's that storage there? It's big storage, actually. Yep, good storage here too. Okay. Normally, I go to the theater seats, but Will, we're going directly across. Look at how big this television is. It really is big. It's That's a, a massive 50, TV. How tall am I? 5'4"? Yeah. So Yeah, I'm 60. This is a 55 inch TV, right? Yeah. That was about 9 inches. Unreal! In a travel trailer like this, I love that. Right. It's funny, we were in that other RV the other day, and they had a big TV, but you're like right there face to face right, with it. Right, right, right. This is like perfect distance for watching. Sound system there in a flame fireplace, which... Doesn't work off batteries, does it? No. Yeah, but I mean, it can try, but I don't think it will. It's gonna be right here. Here, you try. Nope. Nope. Man. 
If it worked off battery, sir, we'd, we'd be, be cranking it. Yes, sir. Right there. We have a little cubby and there is USB and power in there. Okay. And storage right here. And you do have the flush floor right here. Right. And again, across is the Thomas Paine theater seat. So first, above, you got this storage with the lights in it. Yeah, See that's what I'm nice. saying? Really, really nice. How do you like them? It's good. Okay, nice storage there. Oh. Well. You made a mess. Why do you let me do this to myself? I don't know. Cup holders here, heated seats, massage seats, three cup holders, really nice storage right there. And again, well, I can't emphasize, sit directly across from that big screen TV. It's kick butt awesome in America. That's right. Very nice storage. Okay. Wow. Very good storage. And then right here, well, we do have a nice table and chairs. And I like this. I like the adjustable table. It is nice, yeah. Because when I adjust my waist, you know, depending right. on what season I'm in. Right. Let's me know, you know. And um, yeah, that, that works really well. Especially for how tight the dinette is. You right. Because it can be a little bit tighter. And if you guys have little kids, you put them over there. We got nice windows, nice light fixtures and everything. And we'll... <clears throat> Will, you ready to show us that kitchen? Sure. But first, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. Hold your hats, folks. This one's the real deal. Oh yeah? It ain't cheap, is it? Nope. MSRP on this unit here, stock number 286213 in Richmond, Virginia, is $70,025. P.S. Shame on Coachman. Right. Drop that price $26. Buddy. Right. Like, for real, if this is $26, take it out. Yeah. And make it $69,994. Right. Like, you're now at seven. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. Here's the good thing, folks. That's just MSRP. Sale price. Jen, please call Cosmo and let him know it's a 2023 and it has to go. For so sure. it better be a kick butt sale price right there. That's right. And well. Just call him Cosmo. Right. You know what that means? It's going to be the best price in America. No, I think we can do always a little bit better. Oh, okay. Just a little bit. So if you're interested in this unit, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've clicked it down. We put it the link down in the YouTube description below. You guys can also get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Talk to my member of my team. Let him know that Cosmo didn't do his job right, <laughs> and you need a little bit more savings on an awesome travel trailer like That's this. right. And Cosmo does a great job. Okay. It, but make him earn his money right. and make him sweat a little bit. There you go. Well, talk to me, Will. Nice high point microwave right here. You got a nice little bit of countertop space right here. Window on your non-camping side. Yes silverware drawer utensils all that right there and then you have cabinet space underneath right there nice storage up top here yeah um range hood right there you got the light and fan and everything and then right here you got a nice magic chef cooktop with the lights and oven Ooh, magic chef and then underneath you do have a nice drawer right there yes Coming over here, you do have a nice Magic Chef refrigerator as well. Very Oops. nice. It is a compressor fridge, so it works off at 12 volts. Oh, great. And it's working well right now, Will. It's cold. It is very cold, yeah. Um, really nice island. And this is something I really like about this floor plan, because you don't see islands in travel trailers a lot. Uh, so, granted, this, this definitely adds like a lot of weight, but uh, it's nice having an island here. Tons of countertop space, and it is solid surface countertops. And then you do have these nice inserts right there. Nice. Right here, nice power and storage underneath the island. And you actually have power on both sides. Yes. And there's a little side thing here, which is pretty cool. Right. I wonder if there's another one. There is. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, I couldn't see it either. Very nice. Okay, over here, what I really like, this is kind of almost fifth wheel like kitchen here because you have a nice big pantry here that you can also use as like closet space if, if you need it. All these shelves will come out. 
so that's cool. Yep. And then over here, more storage, a nice little coffee nook, and then a few drawers right here. And then show that in there as well. What's that? It does come with a tire pressure monitoring system. Oh, the it drawer. is? Yeah. Yeah. Not as good as the Lippert ones, but right. it's free, so there you go. how can you be mad? Beat it. Okay. Okay. Man. This shower, it's it's pretty okay for a travel trailer. The problem is they really just put that in the wrong spot. Like, you have to like stand to the side, you know? So I can't pass it. But truthfully, like if you showered like this, you'd be fine. Well, are you gonna fail it? Yeah. No, no, no. Don't fail it. Just don't pass it. Okay. Make it a net neutral. Okay, net neutral. It's like the house. It's like hitting the zeros on roulette. Right. Like, no, red doesn't win or black doesn't right. win. The house wins. Right. And they, me <laughs> they messed up with that. <laughs> nice. Right over here, you have nice storage that does lead to the bedroom. Okay. Right here, mirrored medicine cabinet. Nice. Liquefied, our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, you can pick this up at primepoopposition.com yes. right now. Thank you to all the support, guys. We've had an amazing first year, and you guys, you don't even know. You guys have been here on my phone. That's because we're planning something for 2024. It's going to be a, a very fantastic, and you can also get that at your local General RV. Okay. Really nice storage right here. Yeah. Underneath. <sighs> Porson. Will. I know that didn't pass and that didn't fail. It was like a neutral. Yeah. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. Very nice. All right, come on down here and close that door. Okay. And then look at those hallway windows. Right. Well. Pretty cool. Okay. Yes, and then over here, Will, we do have a very nice queen sized bed. Yep. On the slide out which makes the bedroom feel even more spacious. Okay. We got nice storage above here. Okay. Nice storage above there. There you go. And then here, storage, storage, that connects from the bathroom. Right. Little laundry hamper. Oh, nice. It's supposed to, oh no, no. You, 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 that lifts somehow. Oh, from the bathroom primarily. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. exactly. Oh, I, I actually really like that. Yeah, that's and cool. And then storage right there. And then... This thing has a lot of storage for a travel trailer. Right. This bedroom's fantastic. It is. Look at that awesome window. Yeah, I love that. Gee. All Man, right, I'm just open. Keep... Right. It's like Christmas morning. And then back on up well. Okay. We got more storage here. Nice. Nice this. There Fantastic. You go. And then here. Just more storage. Yes. <sighs> well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do you want to do first? Uh three things we dislike. First? Yeah. Let's go back outside. Okay. Dislike number one. Well, for me, I love the outside kitchen, but I'm not digging this outside kitchen. Yeah. I wish it had the pull-out cooktop or a plumb-through sink. With right. this not having either of those. Oh, it's, that's interesting. Yeah, that is cool. With this not having either of those, uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. I agree. And, and then the cooktop's gonna be all the way down. Right, that is kind of weird. That's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is just gonna be how they did the hookups. Truthfully, it just seems like a little messy to me. Yeah. Like you have your shower closed in here, but then next to that you have your water connections. You got your dumps down there. Yep, your power here, TV. Like put it all in a nice little box. And have it, it enclosed. And, and have it enclosed, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Especially at this price point of a travel right. trailer. I 100% agree. Okay. Well, let's wrap it up with dislike number three. Ha! Huh. With the work of TV magic, we didn't have to go back outside. All right. Well, that's just like number one and two. What's this like number three? This like number three, for me at least, is gonna be, I do feel like throughout this travel trailer, it's kind of like dark in here, don't uh, you think? Yep, yep, personal opinion and preference. Yeah, 
personally, like, I don't like this much dark cabinetry, but also it's kind of like the lighting, don't you think? Like, there's yep. almost not enough light in here, and you especially know what? when you're doing the dark interior. Especially with Coachman. Like, so for an example, like, you got the one light yeah. there, one light there. Coachman on their on the motor homes, homes they're they've doing always, a third row, right? Right. They always have, like, triple lights, Yeah. the better light bulbs, and now they're doing the new light strips. Yeah. I, oh, I, right, right. I would like to see more lighting in here, again, especially with the dark cabinetry. Yeah. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. Obviously the bedroom. Oh yeah. Big spacious bedroom, bed on the slide out. Love the front windshield, love all the storage, love this work area. This is super nice. And we didn't even talk about, you can sit here. Tie your shoes. Get it all done. And did I show underneath the bed? Yeah. Okay, fantastic storage underneath the bed and from the outside. Mm -hmm. That is like number one. Will, what's like number two? Like number two for me, I'm definitely gonna give it to this kitchen. Talk to me. Um, I love how, number one, there's an island in here, but I love that kind of rear living floor plan and a fifth wheel that they brought here. Yep. With like the sink and the island, you got good countertop space, mm -hmm. the coffee nook, and a really good sized pantry. Yep, I, I agree. Well, that's number two. And then number three, well, for me, people are gonna get really mad at this. Um, oh, we didn't even mention the toe no. picker. Yeah. Just like number 3.5. Yeah. Like number four for me, well, it's going to be this big screen TV. Right. This is nice. This is this is the unit that you want a full time in a travel It trailer. is, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, like, don't get me wrong. You're, when, if you're just a camper, this might this is definitely overkill. Yeah. But if you plan on living in this thing and you like watching sports or movies and you want to have a big screen TV where really you can see what's going on and read the closed yeah. captions, this is it. 55 inches. Right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't watched the whole video and you know how to enter the bobblehead, make sure you enter it by doing that special comment down below. Please remember, hashtag bobblehead. Yep. And don't say, don't comment, I had a blank. Right? You're not right. going to win. Tell us their tell names. Tell the story. Tell a little story about it. And what we're trying to do, if you guys don't know this, we're trying to have unique comments to see if we can trigger that algorithm there you go and because of that we are giving away the bobbleheads guys you cannot buy the bobbleheads right the only way you get them is by winning them um or buying an rv at the hershey show and possibly the tampa show yeah i don't know yet but we're we're trying to figure out a game plan and if you're unable to secure one right now we do apologize but this is something that i spent five thousand dollars of my own money right i bought they were ten bucks a piece because i thought this would be really fun so don't get mad if you can't get your hands on one we will figure out other ways for you to get one but the only way to get one right now is by watching every day and commenting and participating That's right will what do you got to say guys thank you all so much for watching again do please don't forget to leave that comment down below and uh, make sure to give us three things you like and three things you dislike about this travel trailer Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you're interested in getting a quote, click our link down below yes. to Matt's Cash, and we will get you the absolute best price in America. Thank you, absolutely everybody, so much for watching, and we'll, we'll see you next time.